Slope and lines. Here are some application problems. A1, A is for application. Find the value of y so that the line passing through the points has given slope. So here we have given you the slope. You don't have to find slope, but you have to find the coordinates of the point. Okay. So that is how it's kind of different from what we have been doing so far. Okay. Uh, method and the formula to do it is same. Slope still is y2 minus y1 <coughs> divided by x2 minus x1. But one of the y's is not given here. Okay, So you need to find the coordinates which will give you the right slope. So how do we do it? Well, here is a way to do it. Slope is given as minus 2. So write minus 2 first. Slope as minus 2. We don't have to calculate it. It is already given. And slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what is y2 here? Minus 4. We say minus 4 minus y. That value we need to find. Divided by x2 minus x1, which is 3 minus of minus 2. So whenever we have another negative, we put it always in the brackets so that there is no confusion. Now we can solve for it. We will do cross multiply, right? So we'll multiply minus 2 with these terms, right? Let me first simplify it more. We have minus 4 minus y over 3 plus 2 because minus and minus becomes plus, right? So 3 plus 2 is 5, right? Now we will cross multiply. So 5 times 2 is 10 with minus sign. So we get minus 10 equals to minus 4 minus y. Now you can solve for y, right? We'll bring y to this side, that is y equals to and to the right side. That means we will add 10 on both the sides, right? So when you add 10 both sides, it becomes 0 here and you get plus 10 here. Minus 4 plus 10 will be 6. So we get y equals to 6. Correct? So that is how we are going to solve for it. So you can do for the rest. So you understand now? How to do it? Slope here is half. We write half as slope y2 minus y1. That means y minus minus 5. That means becomes plus divided by x2 minus x1, which is minus 6 minus 3, right? And then we need to cross multiply, right? First, let's simplify it further. y plus 5 divided by minus 9 equals to half. So this time we'll multiply 2 by y plus 5 and minus 9 by 1. So we get minus 9 equals to 2y plus 10. Right? Now to solve for y, we'll bring 10 this side. That means we'll subtract 10 from both the sides. Right? And when you do so, you get minus 19 here equals to 2y and y equals to minus 19 divided by 2. So that is how we are going to solve for it. Here I'll just write you the main statement and you can solve it yourself. So minus 2 over 3 is the slope which should be equal to y minus 4 y minus minus 4 so it becomes plus 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 correct? Then cross multiply solve for y 3 minus 2 is 1 and so we get minus 2 equals to 3y plus 12. Now you take away 12 from both sides. We get minus 14 here equals to 3y. And y equals to minus 14 divided by 3. So that is your answer. Do such problems yourself and see how to find the coordinates of the point for a given slope. Thank you.